Hey guys, Karuna Satori here, and today's video is not going to be an ASMR video, but a rant video. My friend, John, I'm sorry, my daughter's next to me, she's like going crazy. <laughs> Hi, sweet. Anyway, my friend John came over last weekend, and he was telling me about his girlfriend, who had just kicked him out. Um, she said that she kicked him out over a six-pack. He wouldn't go and get her a six-pack of beer. Now, guys, this is to you. You know who I'm talking to. The guys who love their women more than life itself. The guys whose women manipulate them. And they know it, kind of, but they don't say anything because they're by the balls. They're on a leash. Now, he sat there saying, oh, I hope she changes. Maybe she'll change. You know, I love her. We've been together. She's not like that. It's like bullshit. She is like that. I used to be like that. I used to be that girl. Um, she, you know, you know the people I'm talking about. Like, the girls that I'm saying. And even guys do this in relationships, too. Like, they'll be like, oh, you know, I love you so much, baby. But why didn't you do this after work? Or why didn't you pick me up this after, you know, you got home from this or that? You know, the, the people who will sit and call you names and treat you so badly, but the next day be like, oh, you know, I was just in a bad mood, baby, I'm sorry. Will you go and make me breakfast? You know, you wait on these people, boys or girls, hands and foot. This is mainly towards guys, but I know the girls better, you know, obviously, because I'm a female, and I used to be this female. And he was saying, well, she's going to change. And this is the number one point that I'm trying to make. She's not going to change. A person that loves you would not call you names, kick you out, and then tell you to come back next week, apologize, and then do it all over again. You know, maybe once or twice they'll realize, especially if you're pregnant, especially if a girl's pregnant and she's going crazy, you need to deal with it. I mean, obviously she doesn't have to be a psycho crazy bitch, but, you know, if she apologizes once and then you guys work it out, that's a whole different story. But the people, the girls who aren't pregnant, and they're all just doing this over and over and over, you know, they're not going to change. And I know you're probably not going to want to trust a girl in a Rugrat shirt and female boxers, but listen to me. <laughs> if, you know, I, I just don't understand, but I used to be this girl and I, I kind of understand in the guy's head now that I'm not with that guy anymore. I used to treat him terribly. I used to make him wait on me hand and foot. He, I, if he wouldn't get me a glass of, like, iced tea, I would flip out. I'd be like, what are you doing? Why wouldn't, why didn't you do that? You know, I was a crazy psycho bitch and people can change, but that's the thing. I don't think that they will because it took me six or seven years to change. Like it took me countless relationships, a three year relationship. And then a guy who I'm seeing now who I've been with, I have two kids with, I've been with for three years and he doesn't take the shit. He, he was the one who taught me, you know. I, now, I'm not saying he controls me or anything, but if it wasn't for him, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> who knows. But anyway, um, yeah, so please, as a girl who used to treat guys like shit, your girlfriend's not going to change. Your boyfriend's not going to change. It's called insecurity. These people... I used to be so insecure about myself, I thought he was going to leave me, so I thought if I didn't treat him like shit, he, you know, would be like, oh, she, she sucks, she's, you know, she's this or she's that, and I don't want a girl like that. But it's just, it, it turns it around, and then the guy is unhappy. Well, he's not unhappy, he thinks, you know, now it makes him insecure, whenever he was never insecure in the first place. It completely changes the relationship. He thinks that you love him, you don't love him, you're just insecure about yourself, putting him down. And, you know, I might not be explaining it perfectly, but, like, I know that the guys who understand what I'm talking about understand what I'm talking about. This girl is not going to change. She will say that she loves you to death the next day after a fight. You know what I mean? Then she'll be like, she'll do it again, you know? This is the girl who needs rides everywhere, who takes your money out of your bank account, who, you know asks you to make food all the time. People with kids. This is the girl who makes you take care of the kids all the time. The girl who, you know, makes you carry the car seat down every single time. She's always sick. She's always in the bathroom in the morning. She's this. She's that. You know, she makes you do everything. She never pays back. She's the girl who stays at home, the stay-at-home mom, but she does shit. The house is dirty. Everything. 
You know what I mean? I used to be this girl. I know what it's like. And girls, don't comment on my shit saying, oh, you know, that's just you. That's who you were. You don't know anything about my relationship. It's like, okay, I might not know anything about your relationship, but I know a little bit about what's going on in your head. Just treat your man right. And if you can't, stop fucking leading him on. Like, this is ruining their lives. I ruined my ex's life. And I'm telling you, it might not even, it might sound severe and it wasn't because this was just little things. And it took a long time, like I said, for me to change, but it could have got worse. And I almost, I almost, I'm not even going to say it. it. It was bad. So, guys, please hear me out. Your girl is not going to change. Please hear me out. This is just a little rant video. I'm not sitting here telling you, oh, you need to take my advice. This is how it is. I might sound like that, but it's not. Just think about it, you know what I mean? Your girl is not going to change. And great, if she does, bring it up to her. It'd be like, why are you treating me like this? And she'll be, she'll say things like, well, you'll never find a guy like me, or you'll never find a girl like me, and the guy will say, well, you'll never find a guy like me again. That's bullshit. There are seven billion people out in this world. And don't tell me in the comments, how did you say there's seven billion people when there's seven million people? It's like, I've seen those trolling comments. But, like seriously, there's seven billion people in this world. Do you really think just because, you know, some somebody says that you can't, you'll never be able to find somebody like them? Somebody like them, really? Somebody who will treat you good, like, in public, in front of your friends and everything, but then you get home and they treat you like yeah. shit. You really want to be with somebody like that? Because you feel like you have nobody else. You feel like you have nothing else going for you. But I'm telling you as a person who used to be this person, that person, blah, blah, blah. I changed. It took six years. I did it. I mean, I was very selfish, self, you know, self-headed, um, manipulative, horrible. I was a horrible person. And I changed. And I'm not saying I'm a good person. Nobody's like a perfect person, you know. But I'm decent and I treat the guy I'm with great now. I mean, I'm not being cocky, please don't think that, but I'm just in a better place than I was, so. I hope that you learned a little bit. I mean, obviously you didn't learn a little bit. You probably, This is just a rant. Like, it's just because it made me mad, so. I just hope that the guys listening to this, you know, just take a hint, man. Like, I used to be that girl. I am the manipulative bitch who is in your relationship now. They're not going to change unless, you know, there's a miracle, and it was pretty much a miracle in my life, so. Like I said, I hope you enjoy this video. It's probably going to get, like, a lot of bad, <laughs> negative things, but I'm just being nice, and I'm just trying to help, and that's about it, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Um, I'm not always a mean, straightforward person. I'm just the girl who makes ASMR videos and stuff for my kids. But all right, guys, uh, much love. And oh, yeah. And one more thing. I'm not hating on you girls who do this to your guys. I know what it's like. Um, I used to be right there in it. So if somebody said that about me, I'd be like, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. But just take a look in the mirror. Like, come on. Like, I know what it's like to be insecure. And I know what it's like to treat guys like shit. But alright, I'm gonna end up ranting until, like, my camera runs out of battery and all that good stuff. So, alright, see you guys later. Please subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, and bye!